finished my uh, interior design studies and went traveling in India. I found myself a piece of broomstick. I started carving it with my, with my knife. And I thought it could be a flute if, if I split it in two halves. And then I arrived in Rishikesh and I ran across this guy named Mukesh, who's a didgeridoo maker. Just before I left the shop, I, I saw there uh, one didgeridoo made of wood. I asked him, how did, how did he hollow this? He said he split it in two halves. I said, wow, that's exactly the same thing I thought of about doing with this stick. So when I came back home, I took a piece of wood and carved it into a nice long sculpture, split it in two halves and uh, hollowed it. And, uh, this was my, my ditch for, for the first four years I played ditch. I really liked the idea of uh, making uh, musical sculptures. So that's the way I started with the didgeridoo. From the first moment I laid my hand on a didgeridoo, I felt there was something special about it. And suddenly I learned uh, this amorphic music. You cannot write it, you cannot read it. You cannot remember what you were just playing. During the practice of didgeridoo, I learned the special technique of circular breathing. I started feeling my, my breath, feeling the breath, enjoying it. I am all the time in, in control of the pressure in my body. So I breathe all the time more and like raise the pressure and let it go and really learn to control the, the, this inner feeling. So what happens after some time that I start, I start using my, my breathing muscle in a different way, in a more profound way, in a more full way, with more awareness of it. Yep, so it's, it's very good for your breathing anyway. Right from the beginning, I felt there was, I, ha, I have discovered something that I must let people know about it. And I felt like people must listen and see this instrument, it is great. Okay, so I started making it and showing it and then of course you need to teach the people how to play it because they ask you what do I do with it? So I started teaching it. Very early I decided that, that I want this uh, didgeridoo business to become a didgeridoo center that will bring didgeridoo players, didgeridoo enthusiasts, people who don't know, bring people together to, to get introduced to, the, to this instrument and share information about it and letting more and more people be exposed to this basic and wonderful uh, patent of, of uh, the Aboriginal people.